guys, Rich here. Welcome back to the RC Informer YouTube channel. Got Steve on the camera, and today we have a new release airplane to show you. This is uh, the Dynam uh, Boeing PT-17 Stearman. This is uh, coming from Bitco Hobby. So you guys, if you guys are interested, check it out in the links in the description below. Um, it's a pretty nice airplane. We did a full-on build and setup guide on this thing. Um, you guys can check that out at RC Informer. Also in the upper right hand corner of this video, we're gonna try and put links to that. Uh, when we put, uh, those videos should be out at the time of this video. So uh, if you click that, drop it down, you'll get a drop down window and you can see a window and you can see all the other videos um, in this series. Uh, 1300 millimeters, folks. So it's a nice big size, nice Stearman. This is gonna be the first flight out. You ready, Steve? First flight out on this baby. It has a 650 kV uh, outrunner in it. I think it's a 50 amp uh, ESC that's inside of it. It's a four cell airplane. Uh, we'll talk about the insides of it later. We're just going to boot it up and go. Um, it mostly assembled pretty nicely. Um, had a few issues with the early uh, production version, but um, we fixed all those for everybody. So you guys are going to get a, a fairly decent airplane uh, if you guys choose to get one of these. And we're going to see how this flies today. We'll do a quick flight control check. We did all the uh, we did all the most of the pre-flight stuff over there on the uh, desk. It has a nice latch to latch it in place. And uh, Steve, let's do a quick run up here. Make sure our flight controls are working well. Everything's doing okay. We got a high, medium, and low rate on everything. We'll talk about most of it, I think, when we get back on the ground. I'm just going to do a really quick flight control check. Let me flip it upside down and make sure I'll get my safety on. Aileron linkages look good. It looks like Dynam's improved their linkages on everything. They now have a fairly nice clevis on everything. This kind of represents a newer generation of Dynam stuff. They're trying to clean their stuff up and make it, uh, make it a little nicer. All the linkages look good. Let me check for correctness of control before we launch out of here, Steve. Let's see. Right aileron, left, up, down, left, right, and that's it, guys. Basic four-channel airplane. Let's run it up. Well, let's get the safety off. Safety was on. All right, it's putting out good thrust. We checked the CG already, which balances right about here. That looks decent. And Steve, you got that mic on? All right, here we go. We'll taxi it on out. Steve, why don't we take a couple steps back? We'll get behind the uh, barricades here. And let's see what we can do with... Uh, I'm going to put everything in 100% travel. And here we go. Let's taxi it on out. See how it drives. Not bad, not bad. The landing gear is a nice rigid wire gear. It does flex a bit. There we go. And let's see how these travels work out. All right, nobody's here. Take it off! Let me get it rolling, stay on that rudder. Let it get on those wheels, and there it is flying. All right, we'll get the, uh, yeah, not bad. It's pitching up just a hair. Get it coming back this way. Nice. It's rolling right, just a hair. I found the kit went together fairly nicely, folks. It has some real nice flying wires on it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it flies nice. That's the thing about Dynam airplanes. They, uh, yeah, nice, nice. They're a little rough sometimes coming out of the box, but they usually all fly well. There's usually no issues with them as far as flying goes. Usually you have to tweak them. This one was minimal tweaking, folks, though. Nice touch and go. Not bad, Steve. Not bad at all. Looks good. I have a 2200 uh, Roaring Top LiPo. Let's roll it around. Not bad. Yeah, that's the thing about Dynam. They just seem rough coming out of the box, but when you get them up and going, they're nice flyers, usually. I'm at about a little below half throttle here. It's a little windy today. This isn't the kind of plane really that you want to hammer on too much. It's not a real high speed model. It's uh, the Army Air Corps military trainer back in the, what is it, Steve, late 30s, early 40s era? Yeah, yeah mid 30s to 40s. Yeah. I think it was like the Stearman company bought out uh, Boeing or bought or Boeing bought Stearman out or something and it is windy. You can see that windsock bouncing us around a bit. 
I'm at about half throttle here. Let me come back the other way with a tailwind here. You can see it going into the wind here. We'll come by hot, fast. Very nice, very nice. 650 kV motor, 50 amp ESC. Hey, it seems a little pitch sensitive. I'm gonna go to a I'm gonna go to a low elevator rate and see how that is. That actually tames it a little bit. But nice flying plane. Touchdown. Not bad, folks. Not bad. Let me take it up high here, Steve. I'm gonna point it in the other direction. Let me get it going into the wind here. They're mowing the lawn on us, folks. Let's get it into a loop. And it goes right around. Nothing bad. I'm gonna roll it here. Very smooth rolling around. Come by hot again, tailwind pass. Let me come by quick, Steve, full throttle into the wind. Here we go. Not bad, CG's working out okay. I'm gonna trim it a little more, just nose down. This plane seems to be very sensitive to power. When you add power, it wants to climb, so it's good to trim it at a higher speed. There we go, much better. Nice plane. I'm impressed, Steve, very nice. Looks good, flies good too. Anyway guys, for more videos on this, just check it out on the RC Informer YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe, comment, share our videos, always helps us out. And if you guys want to see the new videos, we got lots of new releases coming. Click that notification bell, right Steve? There you go, ding ding. If you guys hit that notification bell, that will let you know when we put new videos out. How about some steep turns out front, Steve? How about that? Yeah, sure. Here we go, let's go. We'll get some out front. Not too steep. And we'll look at this thing when we get on the ground. Nice, nice. Right around the windsock. Turns around the windsock. Nice model, folks. Very, very cool. Very vintage looking. Looks really cool. We'll try and put some pictures up before or after the video, folks. Really sweet. Also, don't forget, guys, check us out on Instagram. We're putting stuff on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter daily, daily. Real nice. All right, Steve, let's take it up high a little bit. We only have a 2200 pack, so I don't want to go too crazy with this. Let's see how it does inverted. Not bad, not bad. When I get used to it, I'll get it down lower. Just the first flight. This thing has flying wires, so I just want to be careful with it. Coming in. Take it slow and see how it is. It's got really nice metal wing struts. Outstanding. No flaps on it, folks. You just need a four-channel radio for this. Wow, impressive. Very nice. Let's bring it in, Steve. Let's check the battery. We've done some touch and goes. I don't want to get too aggressive with it on the first flight. Beautiful airplane, though. Let's see. I'm about half throttle, backing off on the power. Let's let that tail settle. you got to stay on the rudder on this thing or it'll jump around on you a little bit. But nice, let's drive it on back. Very, very nice. Very cool. What do you think? Sweet. Very Good nice airplane. for a Dynam plane, guys. When we had, this is the early sample we got, and we had a couple issues of missing parts, and, and we had a tail that was, uh, you know, missing a few pieces, but the, we got, we contacted BitGo and they, they got all the parts in the airplane now. So it's actually, when you guys get this, if you guys choose to get one of these in our links below, you guys are going to get a pretty nice airplane out of it. It's, uh, like I said, it went together uh, well. Um, the only complaint I have is this right here, Steve, if you want to get on that. Yep. They got the paint color wrong. Maybe it's a one-off on mine. I don't know why they didn't match that. But aside from that, the finish is pretty nice. This is a new generation of uh, BitGo airplanes, um, so they're really making a conscious effort um, to make them a little better. So minimal really work out of the out of the box. 
Uh, be sure, folks, to check out the unbox and assembly video because I have some tips. It is a Dynam airplane, so it doesn't have quite the fidelity that some of the other airplanes have and the ease of assembly. So, you know, you do have to do a few little things to it, but not much on this one. It's, uh, it's pretty darn nice. Um, I don't know if you can get on these stale, but Steve, but let's look at the tail. You see the struts here? Yep. Can you get on those? There's a strut here, strut here, here, and here. They're actually wires that are held in with um, with um, springs. I don't know if you can see that. It's in there. And then um, and then the wing struts or the wing wires. Actually, the wing struts. Let's talk about that first. Can you focus on those, Steve? Yep. Those are metal. Really nice. They're all aluminum. I think they're aluminum. Or, they're aluminum or steel. And then you have some right here as well. These are these are metal. Um, and then you got the wing wires. Uh, in fact, let me flip it upside down, Steve. Maybe we can focus on those better. Can you see the wires? Yep. They're pre-measured. You screw them on and you go. It's really nice. They, they, they fit pretty good. I thought they would be a little goofy because they're a little, uh, they're a little bit, they're, like I said, they're pre-measured so you don't tighten them, but they work well in the air. They seem to, to handle it fine. And then right under here as well, you can see your landing gear screws on. They put uh, 10 screws. I think it was 10 to get the gear on, but the gear is a nice tough wire strut, so it's pretty cool. There's uh, a couple of, uh, I think these are grab rails, I'm not sure back here that you glue in place. But uh, four screws to get the wing on. You glue these on, I think there were two screws to get the, the, the tail surfaces on. You screw the, the rudder on, here, let's go here. You screw the, the, the wheel, tail wheel on with a single screw through here. And, uh, and then the top wing, Steve, let's see if you can get on these. The top and the bottom wing, can you can you zoom in on this part right here? Yep. See those screws? There's screws here. They're machine screws. So you can take all those off. There's four that connect the wires here. There's four that join up here. Actually, six. There's two wires here, two struts here, two wires. There's a lot of little screws to get those flying wires on. But they're real nice. And they came with a fairly scale right up front, motor detail, engine detail, and... Um, and right here, this uh, this little hub that you can tighten up with a, um, uh, just put a wrench through there or something. Um, there's a lot of lead in the engine here, in the engine nacelles, and uh, that kind of balances it out. Again, it balanced perfectly. The CG was uh, 70 to 80. I think I have it balancing right at about 75, and that balance was perfect. Um, the engine cowling went on. You'll see in the build guide if you check that out, guys. Um, the, uh, the original cowling, or the way the cowling went on, it goes on with magnets. So that's one of the things I upgraded. I actually put a screw. Uh, Steve, you want to get in on, uh, here, let's hold it this way. Can you see that screw hole? Yep. I put a screw in there and backed it up with a little bit of wood in there. That's a mod I did. Check out the build guide for that. And then I put another one right through here. You can do that as clean or neat as you want. I just put holes through it. But I backed it up with wood back there. That's one mod I made, so check that out on the build guide. But otherwise, real nice. Look at the bottom of this thing. It's got spars running through the ailerons. Four screws to get your wing on, and that's it. Real nice. Uh, I like this thing, Steve. We look and like the colors. We'll put up. We'll put up. And it does come in the yellow too. So again, check that out at Bitco Hobby, guys. We're gonna we're gonna put a 2600 milliamp pack in here. Oh, here, let me show you the canopy. I didn't even show you that stuff. Cockpit comes off. I would have liked to have seen some pilots in this thing, but uh, the cockpit comes off here. And let's see, Steve, if we can zoom on this. I got my safety. You see the battery up there? Yep. Battery goes all the way to the front. And then I'm going to flip it around. Let's see if I can get some light on this. Sorry, Steve. My bad. Let's get it right here. I'm trying to get some light on it. I just put a six-channel receiver there. Again, you only need four channels, so that's all you need. The linkages proved to be pretty good. They seem to be decent. And uh, I did use, instead of Velcro, I used my shelf liner. I don't know if you can see that, Steve. Yep. So there's a lot of detail, guys, in that uh, build assembly setup uh, video that we put out. So there's a lot of detail because, again, it's a dynam plane, so you, you, know, you do a little building with it. Um, all right, Steve, let's see if we can get... Oh, there's two lights on this thing, too. I didn't even show you that. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. There's a green light on that side. And on this side, let's see if I can shadow that for you. There's a red light there. Yep. So it does come with two lights. And you run those wires. Here, I'll flip this around so you can zoom in. There's a lot of little details with this. That's why it's this thing coming email. Can you get right here? Yep. On that strut. I ran the wing, the wires up there and just taped them on there. They show in the instructions. The instructions are lacking a little bit. But 
Um, but uh, nice size airplane, guys. 1300 millimeter, good, good size model. Let's get the, uh, let's check out the battery, Steve. How much you want to wager? What do you think's left? 32. 32%. All right, let's see what we got. I'll unplug this. Let's get this thing out of here. It's lawn mowing day, guys, so I hope that doesn't drown out our audio. All right, let's put this here. All right, let's see. That's what I'm using. Can you see that all right, Steve? Yep. You can use any 22, 26, or even higher. The plane seems like it flies well, like it will take, it'll take the weight. Here we go, Steve. This is for the gold. Can you see that? We always have problems with this. I got to see that myself. Let's try this. I'm going to get in your shadow. Can you get on that? Yeah, there it is. 17%. 17%. So we got a good reason. That's a that's a pretty reasonable or like have a normal flight. So what do you say we flew that for? These at uh, least four minutes. Yeah, I mean we got a decent flight time out of it. I throttled it, modulated it a little bit. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, real nice airplane. First flight out. We'll have more flights of this out. Just check it out on RC Informer. And in the upper right-hand corner, once again, um, we got new releases, guys. So like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell uh, in the lower right-hand corner below the video. That'll let you know when we got the new videos coming out on this and other airplanes. We got some cool stuff coming to the channel. So you definitely want to hit that bell. Bell. Also, folks, we're on Instagram. Instagram, we are putting up posts daily so you guys can kind of see what we're doing. We'll probably have some pictures of this up here pretty soon too, or probably they're already on there. So, uh, Steve, am I missing anything? No, but I just thought about something that uh, these guys, you want to get scale, you might want to put a wood prop on the front of that. Yeah, a wood prop would definitely be a little more scale, but I tell you, it's a nice propeller. This came with it. Yep. It's kind of like a, it's actually kind of like a glass reinforced plastic almost. It's a pretty rugged prop. Yeah. I won't know until I hit the ground with it one day. <laughs> um, but anyway, sweet airplane, guys. Check it out once again at uh, BitGo Hobby. Um, Steve, thanks for filming. Guys, thanks for watching RC Informer. And as always, folks, we'll see you next time.